Plymouth looks like. They don't know about the truck yard yet. Maybe that's that bit. The video's dead. I have to redo the whole stuff. Uh, it doesn't okay. kill my intrigue. <laughs> so yeah, technical issues. Take two. I've just lost the first like fifteen minutes and then had to restart my entire computer because you know antivirus suddenly decided that you know fancy ground which I've been using for years was a threat to my system. Which is a good start. Anyway, it's about you, three. You weeks. didn't know that. No, apparently not. It's a threat to your sanity. <laughs> I don't have any sanity to begin with, it's fine. Ah, never mind. Right, so, three weeks after your last run, you've all done a little bit of shopping, you've picked up some odds and ends, um, you know, you've cast spells on yourselves, in some cases. And it's time for your new job. So, this one's coming from... I forgot the character's name. Uh, <laughs> Top Dog. dog. <laughs> Which is Ollie's Ollie's uh, fixer. That bit. So I've already done that bit once. I've already chucked it out of my back end memory. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah, and he's asking for discretion and for you to meet somebody in an alleyway. In a in a nicer part of town, but still in an alleyway. Discretion and in an alleyway was the name of my third male escort service. However, that one didn't even get off the ground. <laughs> The problem is you can't keep it up with all these um, services. No, that no. was certainly one of the problems, yes. <clears throat> okay, so, are you going to turn up to the alleyway? I'm going to cast an improved reflexes if we do. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so, I'm going well, to well, my character trusts, well, not trusts, but hopes that his fixer isn't, you know, totally screwing him over this early. <laughs> One does not live long in this profession without being incredibly paranoid. I'm posted in a building that has a good sight on the alley. Yeah. yeah. Which is also partially why he's going out there, because he has the rest of these guys watching over. Um, I, uh, I brought four drones and we're staying in the truck. So, I'll I brought two uh, two of the drones or the non-lethal drones. As if you have any of it. So you can shoot the whole, I, the, whole, the um, school up without killing it. They, they have gel rounds in them. I'm not trying to kill children, just schools. So, <laughs> there's a difference. So anyways, <laughs> my okay. character goes out with the SMG concealed. So, after a while, a limo will pull into the um, alleyway and kind of drive up to a stop with its lights. Two large, heavily armed trolls in, you know, action suits and mirror shades kind of do their scout of the area and then open the door. Out of which gets another extremely large troll. At this point, most of you, well, I'm going to say like pretty much all of you recognise this guy. Oh, I switched All right. to APDS rounds. No, no, he's a celebrity. Doesn't matter, just in case. <laughs> well, he's a celebrity. <laughs> uh, anybody have knowledge APDS. celebrities? Uh, if he was a in... voice actor once, maybe. Is no, he no. in Shadowrun Online? He's going to be everywhere. This is Rock Horns. He's basically a troll ex. Bodybuilder, ex wrestler for the um, WNW. The so, what do you. World Mess of Human Wrestling. He won the title belt three times. It's basically. You, you couldn't exist in Shadowrun without of hurt hearing from this guy. Of this guy so, he's, he's the so rock. So, he's the rock. Basically. Yeah. He's playing yeah. Johnson. Yeah, basically. He, except he didn't have the film career afterwards. Uh, he, he's, now, he's now in business. But yeah, you will recognize this guy immediately. Hear the air quotes uh, on that wait, he's, he's in business. Can I make a roll? Um, it's going to be a shit roll, but can I make a roll to see what business he's in? Yeah. All right, that's well, just going to be... Probably, f- actually, you put Tony Bob making a roll, you'd probably know. All right. Uh, he's in his own business, thank you very he, much. He looks like a mob boss. I'm going to assume he's a mob boss. No, no, no. He's just got an old cho- choice in suits. No, he's, he's yeah, actually... I only have four dice. <laughs> He's in the entertainment and um, health business. Oh. 
All right. So he's a mob boss. And he's yeah. and he's hiring shadow runners. Okay. Yeah. Definitely a mob boss. That's because he's a mob boss. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we're just saying that this guy's a mob boss. Luckily, this is also focal. Um, <laughs> so he's got to go. So who's who's the leader of this group? Who am I talking to? I will take a step backwards and avoid looking. <laughs> yeah, the Oliver. Is okay. Oliver will just motion. I like to think that I'm the moral leader. However, I can't talk. So. <clears throat> Oliver will raise a hand. Well, not actually raise a hand, but you know, motion that he is. Excellent. Uh, this this guy, if you, this is a troll who've in stats has basically got an exceptional attribute in strength. Oh, jeez, that's terrifying. <laughs> that, that, that's that's how big and bulky this guy is. You know? That is utterly that terrifying. terrifying. Okay, to give you guys an idea, Oliver is looking up to this guy, and this guy's at least a head taller than he is. Well, you're a scrawny as fuck troll, so... Oh, yeah, he's a scrawny as fuck troll, but... Yeah. Yeah, he's, even as a scrawny troll, he's still taller and bigger I'm than any strong. <laughs> I'm stronger than all, Oliver is. Okay, almost. Oh, yeah. When I get a steel link, I'm pretty sure that's stronger than Oliver is. Anyway, big... Super muscly <laughs> troll. You know, getting on in years now, you know, being A, a troll, and being retired means he's... And C, a mob boss. He's not a mob boss. Well, you don't know that he's a mob <laughs> boss anyway. <laughs> right. Uh, I need you to sort me a little problem. You know, I'm sure you're all following, you know, the cutting edge of high... High end, you know, health products, and we'll all know that I am re launching these tomorrow. He kind of reaches into his um, pocket, and where's that bloody image gone again? <laughs> Damn you! Computer. Apparently, the mob boss doesn't want this information distributed. <laughs> oh, there's a moron who's because you know he's a mob boss. <laughs> <laughs> He chucks one of these things at you. I'm sorry, I just really like saying that phrase now. <laughs> Mob boss is pretty good. Oh my god, I love these. These these are my new products. They're launching tomorrow. They're sorry, you know, steroid filled protein bars with you know a fiery taste. Oh man, steroid can I yeah, love from it. The bodies of my rival gangs. So basically, yeah, these are. They've been hammered out. I mean, you know, you, these things have been over the news all over the place. The adverts, they're, they're basically going for the masochistic bodybuilding crowd. And I'm guessing that their their commercials are, you know, <laughs> like they start off with the someone yelling at you. They start yeah. with someone yelling at you and then they're like sw every screen transition is an explosion. Um, partially. And then there's the other ones where... <laughs> The tiny human eat, starts eating soy jacks and then, you know, kind of picks the troll up and, you know, does that kind of back, you know, <laughs> the bane thing on the on a troll <laughs> after he's been eating them. Uh, don't know how much CGI went into that. Backbreaker? Yeah, backbreaker. Just kind of backbreaks a troll. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're also kind of, they're supposed to have it, they're coming out with an extremely hot taste as well. So. You, you also prove your masculinity by eating them. Oh man! Uh, so we just gave one to us. Not selling these as a way to launder illegal funds because you know. I could not be rolling boss. my eyes harder. Not that anyone can see that. <laughs> but they so he just tossed one at us, right? Hmm? Yeah, he tossed one huh? at you. I'm gonna pocket that. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't eat that if I were you. Huh? Is it made from the bodies of like mob rivals? Uh, well, it's um, so so yeah, possibly. Why is it a <laughs> is it a promotional model? No, it so seems what's wrong with it? It seems that yeah. someone broke into our production plant a while back and contaminated them all with some horrible fungus or you know infectious agent. Uh, anyone eating them will have intestinal problems for a little while. Hmm. Um, hmm. So it might be worth it, though. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> it might be worth it. Um, but yeah, maybe we, they should just replace their intestines. 
No, they, most people just get used to it after a while, I'm sure. But apparently the PR people think it's not good for the launching to give everyone the shit. So, <laughs> I'd assume that people who have, like, cybernetic implants are kind of not well respected in the bodybuilding scene. Oh, God, no, they're hated. Yeah, yeah you kind of Adepts like, have it pretty bad, too, but... You know. Yeah, ad- adepts are kind of like cheaters. And if, you know, the... The Paralympics are kind of like massively above the normal Olympics because you know, that allows you to use cyberware. But yeah, so, so, so unfortunately, we've put too much PR in to just pull the product for other reasons. Also, if we let it know that someone just got in and contaminated our factory, then no one will ever trust them again. So what I need you to do is burn down the warehouse they're in. I can do oh. that. We were told that this would require discretion. Well, you're not to mention you met me. <laughs> That's yeah, the discretion. No, the, yeah, the discretion. Yeah, the discretion is make sure that this can't be traced back to him. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Fire burns evidence. I, I can <laughs> make sure of that. Uh, you also need to confirm that all the um, product is in the in the warehouse, uh, oh. and try not to kill anybody. You know. We got a lot of working Joes on there. Yeah, secure. We've made sure security is extremely light tonight. Um, given that everybody the day off, we can without it looking, you know, suspicious. But short notice, there's a limit to what we can do. So yeah, mm-hmm. check the number of product, burn the lot, and then we'll run a you know damage control in the morning, claiming that you know enemies. You know, another corporation was too worried about our launch to allow us to keep going. I assume I assume part of this part of this deal is track down any of the lot that may have gotten out of the warehouse and burn that too. Yep. If there's anything on the streets, we do not want anyone eating it and attributing their problems to this. Have any so of the uh, employees running alarm, to suggest that the they might have Sorry, taken any of it once? Prostate. Oh, I was just kind of musing into our little radio network. So, what, we go in, pull the fire alarm, and then torch the place? Um, probably, is he probably a little bit more advanced than that, but yeah, it's that's what it sounds like. I wouldn't like necessarily just... put it in that order. Well, no, you pull the fire alarm so people get the hell out, and then you torch the place. He said to probably disconnect it from the network so that it doesn't actually call the fire department. He said to try not to kill them. He didn't say we can't kill them. I, try, try, not to, try not to imply if, if at all possible, which it will probably be very, very, very possible to not have any casualties. Come on, I want another no casualty run. That was where awesome. I If we perchance kill someone, I say that uh, any cut out of the earnings comes squarely out of uh, <laughs> out of uh, his paycheck. paycheck. <laughs> Your King of Base is now contributing to the oh god, why did you shoot that person with so many drones fund? <laughs> <laughs> oh. By the way, do you have incendiary rounds for your drones? I don't, but I can buy some. You should. <laughs> we need to blow up a school. All right. So <laughs> we don't need to blow up a We need to blow up Oliver a warehouse. Crosses his arms and uh, asks, like, what? And just ask, like, all right, what's the what's the starting rate? Because a starting rate, because he's not going to accept just that. Thirty k. Oh. Explosive rounds, yeah. Oh, is that for everyone? Oh, that's, for hmm? that's for the group. No, that's probably for the whole. That's the, the whole thing. For just for. Future, yeah, I'm never gonna say, oh, I'll give you four per person or anything like that. I'll give like the what the whole lot is run is worth. That's not even gonna that pay rent for a month. A little over four well, thousand New Year. We, we all, let's see, well, it's not gonna pay rent for a month, but we actually already had at least one run where that paid yeah. for more than rent. Yeah, I don't see what that means. Uh, we have to what, take one hey, run for way less than what's probably hey, worth, though. Ali, yeah, Ali. Uh, site difficulties in. Dealing with errant bars being worth an extra of five. That way we all get five. Yeah. Ollie, 
Wait, let's see, wait. What was the uh, site difficulties with what? Making, making sure that we sure find no all bars, the bars get out or are out. Oh, yeah. Making, yeah. I'll do that. And the, what were you saying, Zeb? 2,000 Nuyen bounty on every pallet that we tracked down outside of the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because that's way too easy to. Uh, that's way too easy to cheat. By breaking that's... them out and then burning them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 wearing do... that take see, I'll do that. 30... 30... 35,000, 35, which includes it, which includes the bonus for. Let's see, thirty-five thousand, which includes the bonus for tracking down all of the missing pallets and getting rid of said material. And danger pay of 15k if we get shot. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> That's included in the 30. That's included in the 30. And we're a bunch of professionals and there's almost no guards. <laughs> yeah. As if it's only going to be this warehouse. Right. Okay. That's a negotiation roll. All right. Now. Be... Whoa. <clears throat> That's a vibratory. This guy <laughs> became a mob boss because he's really good at it. Fucking Christ. All right. Um, Are you ready is... to lock, lock horns with rock horns? That, that was his wrestling catchphrase. <laughs> That'll be thir 13 dice. Damn. That's a so, good roll there, Gray. He didn't roll anything. <laughs> no, you no know, ones. It is possible to spend edge and make them explode. No. Okay. I think we're stuck with the 30. Yeah. Yeah, that was an exceptionally good roll, even so. Yeah, apparently this guy knows how to negotiate. All right. Yeah, you don't <laughs> strong arm someone who's as big as a small like yeah. vehicle. It's quite it's quite hard to try and intimidate someone who could pretty much just lift any of you up this by guy, one hand. This guy is well, more than twice your size. Exactly. Well, yeah, so, but he's got the comforting knowledge that I have a gun at the back of his head. So he says 30, I say 35. He says, yeah, no, 30. And they're like, all right. <laughs> He kind of cracks his knuckles. 30. The smaller gonna, troll backs away like, uh, yep. Man, it would have been funny if you would have said something like, well, tell you what, go three minutes in the ring with me and I'll give you a 35. <laughs> <laughs> Not until he gets the martial arts. Because yes. <laughs> the 5K would cover the hospital bills. I would do it. I'd do it. I'd go three minutes in the ring with him and get, uh, maybe do it. Three rounds. Oh, three rounds. Ugh. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Professional wrestler. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I'm. I am a good unarmsman, but my <laughs> skill lies with swords. It'd yeah. have to be a. It'd have to be an extreme rules match. I. Uh, I'm gonna slicing bits off our employer is not good for repeat business. <laughs> no, but it means that I could just you know use it. I don't know. Uh, big truck. I'm gonna need you to call in Baby Felipe. I'm gonna need some explosive rounds. <laughs> All right, all right. Is this there are not incendiary bullets. All right, all right. So they're nine. This is F. after you got all the. You, this is after the thousand gel rounds they got. After the thousand gel rounds I bought. All right, so I'm gonna have to tell so, him. Yeah, he got the two thousand. He, he got the thousand gel rounds two weeks ago. So and now he needs incendiary or explosive rounds. Okay. Basically, so and I guy, need we're looking now. for a non-lethal solution, and then decided that fire is more fun. So, since this guy is actually owns the place, um, I'll probably so I'll probably needle him a little bit. Uh, any is he, any information that you can give us that might let's see about potential ways to dispose of all of this, or well, the oh, over the com link, I'm going to ask you to ask him to uh, provide us with two network marks for the building. Some blueprints would be nice, too. If we have yeah. marks, we can just access everything in the building. I have without... a better question. Is there anything explosive in the building? Yeah, information on uh, structural... Is it information on structural plans, everything else like that. <laughs> he wants us to start a fire to destroy stock, not to level the building. No, he wants us to burn the warehouse down to the ground. The warehouse is not going to exist anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, like, you, <laughs> you misunderstood. He, he wants the warehouse gone. What just, warehouse? He just doesn't want the people in it dead. 
Yeah, he doesn't I want know. to I'm, I'm gonna... I'll... I'll, I'll evacuate them. He, he will provide you with you know, like, blueprints of the place. Um, current guard. There's a few people... Can on. we get marks? Uh, no. He's not willing to compromise his corporate security. Fair enough. He, he, gives you he the does know we're code. going to do that anyway, right? He gives oh. you the access codes for the front door. Okay. You have like a shipping manifesto area or anything like that? Yeah, he that gives you the um, project Determine map. where the crap stock is. Yep. He lets you know uh, where the Are any is. workers off sick because <coughs> you're chasing up in case they've swiped some of the product? Uh, no. No, no one off sick who was, um, who's turned up in the last few days. Uh -huh. Since the project arrived. Hey Danny, can you uh, can you prep something for me? No. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I didn't know Danny D Dynamo Danny Chekhov was so rude. That was me. I know. All right. <laughs> but uh, listen, I have an idea. Because you know we're supposed to make this look like someone, you know, that would be opposed to uh, Mr. Horn's business operation. Mm -hmm. Why don't you set up, like, I don't know, a page ready to post after it's done, say that, you know, the human man's policy takes credit for it or something. Ask him if there's anyone he would like to take credit for the attack. Yeah, that actually is a good thing. Yeah. Is there anybody you... Is, is there any... Any rivals you want to take the fall for this, in particular, or? Um, no, uh, we, we just decided to leave it. Yeah. If what sort stuck... of mob boss is this guy? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's a very corporate mob boss who has enemies that. <laughs> okay, so what you're saying is we should cool, blame, it blame it on Aztec. technology. Yeah, that's <laughs> Aztec. Well, Aztec actually sells a shit ton of everything, so actually, they, this actually so, totally might be a thing that Aztec yeah. would do. Yeah. Aztec, Aztec is the Aztec would evacuate goods. the building well, before so. they destroyed it, because I don't think that's their style. That's okay. Well, they wouldn't know about that. Yeah. Right, well, Maybe I'm going we to have to... up some fake skeletons. That's fair. Well, no, no, they... They wouldn't mark up the American states. They'd use real skeletons. Let's blame the CAS. Why not? <laughs> let's, let's, let's just start an international war over this. Why not? More business <laughs> for us. Wait, which part of town is his factory in? Like, which district? Um, bring up the Denver map. Probably in uh, the yes, yes. Hmm. Here. So you are going to have to go across the border. Okay. All right. It's not like it'll be the first time we've crossed a border. Doop, doop, doop. All right. Th uh, this is Denver. I presume our fixers would know like smuggling holes and stuff. Mm, that's. So I'm not sure about that. that I mean, that would be, be some of, of the fence fixers. Thing. Yeah, fence. Oh, yeah, fence of fixer, sorry. So, I actually also have a fence. Big red in the back with so much soul. Oh, God damn it. Makes snacks and operates the remote control. I forgot about Dunkle's and International Airport being a thing. I'm not the only person to come up with stupid ideas. <coughs> and there's also Howling, Howling Coyote National Airport. So, here's a crazy idea. And one oh. that might uh, be endearing to Grey. Do-be-do-be-do. Wait, so... Oh, wait, no. I'm reading the map completely wrong. The FTC border is... 
Never mind. Never mind. What were you thinking? I was um, looking at the bullet the and my colour blindness didn't help. I thought the uh, border was the road line just under FFOS. So I was like, oh, we could sneak through the Warrens if we wanted to get there. But no, the border's up there near the Barnsley and South. Yeah. yeah. Well, is it still within the FTC? Yeah, it's just in their area of it. Oh, that shouldn't be too bad then. Oh, yeah, yeah no, I'll, that's I'll, easy. I'll, I'll give you um, a bit more border stuff later. Keeping it simple for now. Yeah. Yeah, All eventually right. we're going to have a job that's going to require us to go through every single border. Oh, God. I'm still saying we should blame the CAS. They'd totally be up for slamming some trolls' business. Do we appeal to racism or do we appeal to corporate control? That's the question here. Both. You say that like there's much of a difference. Yeah. This oh, is a there troll is absolutely thinks a his money is better than yours. His money is better than yours. Also, his oh, yeah, speech. but, the, but that, that's, that's what the C- CAS would probably appeal to or something. Yeah, you should totally get something ready to, you know, throw up online through however many proxies you want to chuck up. Yes, just to go download someone's um, hate rant. Pretty sure that would work. Pretty much. I'm, I'm sure that you okay. can find you know, somebody to take the fall for this. Oh, and since this is the CAS, make sure you say something pro wrestling that isn't, you know, pro troll. Uh, quote the Ultimate Warrior. Sure, that'll do it. <laughs> so, anyway, how are we going to go about torching this place? With fire. Well, I yeah. mean, we're already calling up Baby Felipe to get us some explosive bullets. Like he, he, so I think he wants explosive to find- bullets are enough to burn a building down. Not unless yeah, we go really high. That, that's true. I have um, incendiaries. Looking at the blueprints, are there any? Is he, do we know like what the building is made out of? How flammable? Like, are there certain specific areas where fuel is kept? Or uh, there is a gas well, line gonna, running underneath. If we're going to be blaming the humanity, I kind of want to keep it fairly simple. So, like, if there's a gas station nearby or something, that'd be amazing. Well, he said there is a gas line underneath it. Yeah. Well. Yep. This, this building uses gas so we can like, set that to, to explode. However, that would kind of require us to get everybody the hell out really qu- see well, pretty quickly. Pull the fire alarm ahead of time. Yeah. And cut it off from the actual, you know, network, yes. We can start a small out of the way fire first, which you know, do the fire alarm and that'll do it. Oh yep. yeah, no, right. Can, yeah, we can and then we can make the fire, the fire way worse. Yeah. What if yeah. we are less subtle about it in that we go in, like, ski masks on, firing guns in the air, everybody out, this is a raid, and then do it that way, like, stage it like an actual terrorist attack, drop now, some can... pro CAS phrases in, like, yeah. within the workers' we earshot. We are super, okay, so we that would have, have to be the only the human or human-looking ones. So... So me? the troll's in the truck, and we so just me walk and the dwarf Dynamo in a kid's too. outfit. I would be invisible. No, nah, it, it's not that hard for an elf to look human. You just have to cover no, your ears I'm, up. It's like yeah. wear a hood or something. My, I don't even have the pointy elf ears anymore. I have cyber ears. Oh, yeah, that's so. right. Well, the, well the, other thing, the other thing, actually, is that um, if you do that, you will get the security guards on you, but they're light security guards, and you do get, you do have non-lethal options to take those guys down. I do have non-lethal options, yes. Yeah, yeah so you have your thousand bullets are not non-lethal. That so going, gel rounds. So I going have those straight in two through the trail. door, so going straight in the in and doing a whole terrorist <laughs> thing, and essentially gunning the guards down into stun and throwing them outside. Yeah, yeah that could work. Mm-hmm. Just a quick yeah. question, can you hear me? Yes, yes. yes. Right, my mute person on here doesn't work. Sorry. I was, yeah, I was hoping you guys to mute my microphone for a second, but it's not going to work. We've moved away from the explosive rounds idea. Yes. We've moved away from explosive bullets. So we this actually sounds need- like it's just going to be a full-out assault. It's a assault through the front and knock out everybody who, yeah. all the guards who try to respond. I mean, with any luck, a minimum wage guard is going to look at, like, 
four or five guys with assault weapons and heavy armor and just go. And a, small army of <laughs> and a small army of drones. Uh, yeah, that guy would just nope right the fuck out. Nope. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh man, I have to pull out my. Oh shit, I don't have jail rounds in my assault gun. My assault rifle. We need you to can get borrow some, some of bandanas. mine. Um, can, yeah, I was say, you, you can, can use borrow my, some of mine. Rounds. Oh yeah, okay. I completely forgot that you have a thousand assault uh, rounds. Assault rifle jail rounds, yes. Yeah. I you don't know why I suddenly forgot that you had a thousand assault rifle gel rounds. What a shock. 